everybody, it's Adorable Liz 77 and today I'm going to be doing a first impression video. So let's get started. So I have literally never tried this product ever and it is the Maybelline Colorstay Tattoos and I have two of them and this is from their new Leather Couture collection. Um, colors that I have so this one is 90 Vintage Plum, and this is 95 Chocolate Suede. These are the two colors that appealed to me. I bought mine both at Ulta when they were on sale for buy one get one 50% off. And I had a $3.50 coupon. So literally these two cost $3.50 each because they're regularly $6.99. Now, as you guys know, I have oily skin, so I also have oily lids. Um, so I already took my primer, which is the Milani Shadow Eyes Eye Primer, and I already primed my lids just because I didn't want to take the chance of these creasing on me. Um, I know these are supposed to be like crease proof or something like that, but since I'm going out today, I really don't want them to crease on me but I will do a day where I wear these without primer and then insert the clip for you guys so you can see how well it performs on oily lids without primer so this is what the packaging looks like I just opened it up it has a black back and then it has the front with the sticker and it's glass it's actually really pretty I like the color as you can see, it already has like maybe some drying occurring. Not quite sure. Um, I wouldn't say this is necessarily like the creamiest texture I've felt, but it's not the driest either, and it kind of has like a little bit of stickiness. I don't know. Never felt that before. So it definitely feels different from a cream eyeliner. It's kind of like tacky in a way. I don't know. It kind of seems a little patchy. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm applying it with my finger. So the brush I'm going to be using is my MAC 286 and this is for cream products. So Yeah, this is definitely like a thicker consistency and it's definitely a little bit tacky. So this is what it looks like when I swatch it in there and then when I put it there. Yeah, just a little bit, I don't know, maybe a little, yeah, that's a little patchy. Hmm. And this is the brown one, the chocolate suede one. And this is what the chocolate suede one looks like upon opening it. It has like a little bit of a crack in it already, like it's already drying. Hmm. This one seems creamier. That's weird. This one seems creamier than the other one, chocolate suede. And this one's definitely, I feel like, a little bit more flattering on my skin tone. These are definitely like a fall colors. I feel like the chocolate suede one, which is the shimmer one, and the vintage plum one. The vintage plum one is matte and this one is shimmery. I feel like the shimmery one is more creamier and this one's more drying. Okay, so this is going to be the second part of the review. In that, I paired it up with the Wet n Wild Quad and Silent Treatment, which actually really corresponds well to the color tattoos that I got. Um, I really like the Silent Treatment Quad, but sometimes it doesn't quite show up all that great on my lids for some reason. I don't know if it's my skin tone or that I have natural dark circles, but this actually did help it show up a little bit more. So I'm just going to take my finger, and if you're wondering, this eye is the eye that has the Milani eyeshadow primer. 
I can already tell that this one is, seems to be slightly more pigmented than the Vintage Plum. I'm going to be using my synthetic Rite Aid eyeshadow brush. I'm going to go into that crease color. This side doesn't have primer. And this seems to be going on a lot like smoother onto my eyelids. And it seems to spread out a lot easier. Maybe because I don't have um, eye primer and the eye primer usually helps it stick. So hopefully it's not going to crease horribly by the end of my shift. It's like 3 something, like 3.14 in the day. So. We'll see how this turns out. 1 a.m. in the morning and I put this on at 3.14 in the afternoon. So this is the end result. This is the eye with primer. This is the eye without primer. Both have creasing. As you can see, the creasing isn't so bad. This one's a little bit worse. And this one's the one without primer. So overall, not horrible for someone who has really oily lids. Um, so yeah, I can kind of see the benefits of using this as a base. Definitely like to use these as a base versus just as straight eyeshadow, just because I feel like Sometimes it can be kind of hard to blend out, especially if you use a primer. Um, without a primer, they're a little bit easier to blend. Um, the vintage purple color is a little bit more patchy, whereas the chocolate suede is not. It's actually um, more pigmented, I feel, and blends easier. So yeah, if I were to say out of the Vintage Plum or the Chocolate Suede, which one I would definitely buy again. It would definitely be the Chocolate Suede. Um, both are really pretty colors. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching my review and have a great day. Bye!